Hey gang, welcome back you guys. Good morning. Episode 73 of Zero Carb Journal. Matt here. Sunday morning you guys. How are ya? I got the wiggles, huh? <laughs> I'm just getting going here. It's uh, it's 6. It's 6.15 actually. And uh, good morning. Good to see you guys. How are ya? Did you have a good week? Did you stay the course? Make some progress? I bet you did great. I had a good week myself. I um, stayed the course. <laughs> Trying to make some progress here. So yeah, this week was um, was great. I let's see, from a zero carb standpoint, I ate beef, ate a little bit of smoked salmon, which has been interesting. I've been uh, trying to incorporate more fish. I haven't had a lot of fish, um, and so these last couple of weeks, I've bought a little bit of smoked salmon. Usually, I'm a little wary of smoked salmon just because of the sugar and things that they add, but I've been finding it's fine treats me fine and uh, boy I sure love it you know I think that little bit of sugar fires off my taste buds and yeah it tastes great makes me feel good so a little bit of smoked salmon um, went back to burger this week that was uh, interesting I didn't really enjoy it which was um, interesting to find out after eating all that ribeye last week um, I did have a couple sick days this week um, nothing too bad. It was more, it was again, it was too much fat. So it was, um, not the gristle that I couldn't digest. So I didn't have the vomiting, but I had some issues where I ate a bunch of fat one night. What did I eat? I think it must've been back to ribeye. Um, at any rate, I ate a bunch of fat and then, you know, the way it makes me feel, it just, it just gives me the runs for like 36 hours so it was the day after they did the eating and that night I was up that night sick and then the next day I just just was sick all day so I remember now had a little bit of a rough week a couple days midweek I was working got fatigued and you know just wasn't great and so um, yeah just continued to learn how to manage what works for me I guess um, so yeah I ate some burgers didn't care for it too much kinda got a little a little lost, I guess I'd say, after, you know, getting my routine going for so long and then breaking it up last week and and now trying to figure it out again. So I did. I ate some ribeye. I ate some uh, New York steaks. I just tried a bunch of different stuff. And there was a couple days midweek where I was just sort of feeling off. Oh, I remember what I wanted to talk about. I, I was feeling sort of off. And you know what it was? I ate bacon last weekend. Um... And I think, again, it was just the delayed response from bacon. I don't know why I never learn. I mean, I do learn. <laughs> I just like bacon, I guess. I keep trying. So, at any rate, um, you know, the farther along I go down this path, the more I realize that I'm one of those weirdos who uh, beef and water really is um, the best for me. And there really is a significant difference when I add anything else. So, um, you know, sometimes... I do let that get me a little bit bummed, being so restricted, um, and I think that this week I sort of struggled with that a little bit, but I'm feeling good today and feeling kind of back on my game. I ate some ribeye last night. I think that uh, that I sort of go, you know, I sort of wander between going down in fat so that my guts feel okay, and then I'll come back and eat a lot of fat and, and sort of get my energy levels right, and, and but then my guts kind of go wrong. <laughs> Uh, just trying to balance it all out, I guess. I'll figure it out one of these days. I'll tell you what, one of the things, and, and uh, those of you who commented on this, Robin, I know you mentioned it, and, and, and some other folks as well, but I'm really looking forward to getting back to some homegrown meat. I am starting to feel like like there's a difference, and, and I want to touch on that real quick, because I don't believe that it's a difference in grass-fed or grain-fed or, or quality of the meat when I'm... when when quality refers to um, not the way the meat was handled or, or ground or cut or butchered, but really just referring to, you know, the nature of the makeup of the, of the meat itself. And I don't believe there's a major difference in the way I feel in my health um, between eating store-bought meat and, and homegrown meat. But there is a big difference, it seems like, in the way my body processes um, 
those two, and I believe it's de it's depending on how it's processed. And by that I mean, you guys know I have issues with sort of like gristle and, and nerves and tendons in the meat that I just don't seem to be able to digest, whether it's low stomach acid or an obstruction or whatever it is that gives me these digestion issues. It manifests when there's, you know, harder to digest pieces in the meat in large volume. And I think that when I buy that real inexpensive store-bought ground, now it's not tubed meat, it's not pre-made, it's, you know, this is a grocery store that does butcher it right there. I know they do because they'll say our truck's not here and we don't have the meat to grind via the, you know, the fatty, the fatty mix. Um, and so I know that they're making it from whole meat, but what I think they do is I think that they just, you know, throw in all the trim and it's not really picked over and so you get a lot of, of hard gristle and stuff like that in there. Now when I have my homegrown cows and ground beef, you know, it goes to the butcher here and they butcher it and grind it and they, I think, are a little more careful about sorting through what goes into the grind because I just don't seem to have a lot of that hard stuff. Now maybe the nature of the fat is more tender and easier to digest. Maybe that's due to the way I raise them. Maybe it's due to the age of the animals. I don't know. Um, but whether it's due to what they put in, you know, what they put in the grind and what they what they throw out, how they how they grade that mix, or whether it's due to a function of the of the the, the nature of the fat itself of the animal, I don't know, but uh, I believe it's the former. Um, but at any rate, I'm sure looking forward to getting back to my homegrown meat. I've it looks I don't know. We'll see. I can always go buy a cow from another farmer as well and have it butchered so I, I keep looking at my animals thinking maybe I'm going to make some decisions but I'm still waiting to well I'm waiting to see on that little calf I really to be honest with you I haven't checked out to see if it's a bull or a or a heifer and and uh, if it's a little bull then I would like to keep my heifers and cows around to try and grow my herd so at any rate, um, yeah, so that's something that I kind of remember that I wouldn't wanted to share that I went through this week was sort of that um, up and down with my with what cuts of food I was enjoying. I didn't really find myself enjoying many of them. <laughs> that was kind of it. I just really wasn't enjoying my meals when I came out of last week. I had been eating so much ribeye, I had been enjoying the taste, but I'd had too much fat. I was kind of ill from it, and then I was ill this week from the fat, and I wasn't enjoying my burgers. and. So yeah, a little bit of kind of wandering down the path and feeling a little lost for a day or two. Not too bad. Like I said, I had some smoked salmon, kind of got myself back on track. Almost had some eggs, but I didn't. And uh, yeah, so that was really interesting. It was a good week. Um, I think my ups and downs, I had a little emotional ups and downs. Um, and work has been a little frustrating. I've had a lot of work, but it's been kind of start and stop and... I think this week I'm going to get back to going full tilt on the last big boat of the season. I'm ready for the boat work to end um, for the spring. I turned down a few jobs last week that were going to be pending um, after the current jobs. And while I'm a little bit on the fence about turning down work, I, I'm recognizing that uh, that I just can't do too many months of this type of work. I was, I've already been, been real sore as I talked about my, I just saw one of my koi come up first time of the year um talk about my knees getting sore from kneeling all day and yeah you know I, my body feels good but um but I definitely do start to slip backwards if I if I push too hard um working physically in those difficult environments for too many days or for too long in a row um and it really affects how what I get done uh in terms of my goals and, and how you know how I feel about how I'm moving forward. As you guys know, financial goals play a pretty small role for me. Um, there's definitely some needs there, and, and uh, I need to make sure I, you know, stay on top of it. But um, but definitely my health is number one, and, and so I think I'm going to slow down on the boat work, hopefully. I'm going to speed up here for a little bit. I've got a few, probably another month here to push hard. And then hopefully I'm going to slow down. And, and I got some ideas. You know, one of the things I was thinking about doing, you guys, you can give me some feedback on this. I'm thinking, I'm wondering about maybe doing another road trip like I did in November, but this time with a little more focus on um, on a carnivore uh, viewpoint, a carnivore road trip. And what I'd like to do is 
you know, as you guys know, last time I went on the road, it was really for me to figure out how I could survive out there in, a, in large part. Um, but what I'd like to do is, yeah, just go out and, and explore different places, ways of eating, restaurants, stores, um, ways of getting by on the road. I'd like to share that with you guys. Um, and then, you know, I'd kind of like to, I don't know, this is just an idea. We'll see. Excuse me. But I'd kind of like to go on tour and uh, just cruise around and, and meet a bunch of you folks and, and maybe sit down and do one-on-ones and... and and share more stories, if anyone, you know, if I could find enough people who are interested in, in sharing stories or just talking. It um, doesn't need to be anything personal. We could just sit down and chat. But if you'd be interested in having conversations, I think that, uh, you know, that interactive conversations obviously bring out so much more, um, so many more layers and, and depth and, and um, information that might not come out in these in these monologues. So... I just was thinking that might be a nice way to meet some new people and inspire some new ideas and, and share some more information. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. That's just a thought. Um, but it's something I'd, I'd like to do. And uh, so I'm going to keep developing that thought a little bit. And you guys can let me know what you think about it. And, uh, yeah. So I think that's enough for today, you guys. I'm going to try. It's 625. I'm going to try and go for a surf early this morning. It's a beautiful day, as you can tell. Birds are just going crazy. Fish are jumping already. The mountain's out. sun's out. Our town is packed. It's a halibut opener today, so all the fishermen are in town. It's downhill mountain bike races right up the hill from me here, so all the rippers are in town. Surf season's on. All the vans are in town. Um, there's a, a Society for Creative Anachronism Maypole Renaissance Fair going down just a couple miles that way at the fairgrounds. And town is just a scene. I live in a town that is small and empty all winter and then packed all summer with tourists in the National Park right there. Victoria Ferry right there. We get a lot of people coming through. So I'm going to go try and surf before they hit it. <laughs> They're probably already there, um, the visitors. And then I'm going to, I don't know, putter around in the sun been planting some flowers. Um, I've been really enjoying getting my hands in the dirt again. My little dog is out there fighting in the woods with something. <laughs> so I guess I better run. And uh, yeah, I got some flowers planted and I'm going to try and do some more of that today. So I'm going to go and I hope you guys have a great week. Hope you make some progress. Hope you stay the course. Um, if there's anything I can share with you that, that you have questions on or help you with your path, please let me know. I'd be happy to to talk about it if I can stay organized. Um, and yeah, I guess that's enough, you guys. As you can tell, I'm a little scattered, but I uh, hope you guys had a great week. And I hope you stay the course this week. Hope you make some great progress. And I'll see you next week, you guys. Thanks, as always, for listening and watching. For all your comments, it means so much to me for all your support. All right, you guys, that's enough. See you next week. Have a great week. See ya.